Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a brow tutorial. I feel like it's been requested on my TikTok or my YouTube and it's well overdue. I'm gonna do it quick because it's not all that different from the one that's on my channel which is just solely a brow tutorial. So I'm gonna do my updated brow tutorial and a little mini get ready with me because the makeup I think I'm gonna do is gonna be similar to what I just posted last week. I'm gonna just get on with that. To start with, I really enjoy dyeing my brows. This is the Maybelline Brow Tattoo. It's just a peel off tint. This just really helps me not have to do all that much with my brows. I just like to apply this every few days, you know, making sure my brows are dark. Although I do get scared with this that it's gonna dye my skin. It's really hard to get neat. You're just mainly just making sure that your hairs are dyed. I sit here with this on until I feel the need to take it off. Just a little side note with this peel off thing. It doesn't peel off very well. I don't know if I do it wrong, don't do it thick enough, whatever the reason, but I always end up having to wipe it off. But I'm still sat here and it's drying a bit. Okay, brows are on, dyed, and I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but to me, they're just dark and look almost filled in a bit. And that's always a great start. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Black. And I'm just going to start creating a tail on my brow. Drugstore options for great brow pencils. I really enjoy the ColourPop one. It's dried out a bit, but that would be because I've lost the lids of all of them actually that I have. And also the NYX one is a great drugstore option that I really enjoy using. I'm just gonna keep building the tail and also trying to keep my brow as lifted as possible. I focus on filling in the top half of my brow more than the bottom because I feel like that gives a more lifted look like so. And I just kind of like to get the base shape with a pencil. Um, and I'm gonna do the same on this side. This side is always really, really difficult for me because it just doesn't like to cooperate. Again, focusing on filling in the top half and then brushing all the hairs back. Right, so now I've got the base shape that I'm kind of going for. I'm gonna go in with the Refi Brow Pomade. Yes, this is in shade dark. Once again, I've lost a lid. Do I have any lids for anything? I would actually beg to differ because everything I can see in my view line has no lid. I'm going to start filling this in again to darken the whole look of the brows. Brows are a process. I'm not one of those people that look cute before their brows are done. Keep filling them in until you're happy with the style and shape and filled inness of your brows. I like my brows, right? You see from all angles, like here, to me, it's not good. We need to fill this bit in because I like from whatever angle you're looking at me to be, I like my brows to be filled in completely. And I struggle to get that look with just a pencil, unless I really take my time and use all of the pencil, which to be honest, no. And by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing to this end, the pomade doesn't like to stick to this side of my face. I'm not sure what caused it to be, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, so discoherent on this side of my face. I'm not sure what possessed it to do that. I'm also gonna fill this little gap right here. Um, This brow kind of should be elongate. Okay, I think we've got somewhat of a similar shape going on now. So now I can conceal e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Let me find a brush. Will I be able to find a brush? It's got to be a brush in here for me to conceal with, right? Nope. 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 Possibility, but no. <gasps> Perfect. I'm going to use this so we have a precision lip brush to start concealing around my brows. For the top half of my brows, I literally just do it really roughly around the shape. Let's do this other one. And then once I've done that, I will kind of just go in and adjust anything that I want to adjust. <gasps> At least it wasn't concealer. We can, we can pattern that. I'm going to take an angle brush and this collection palette. And I'm just going to set the tails of my brows. 
because like I said, they don't stay on. I'm also just gonna go over that part where I accidentally got some highlighter in my brow. That's kind of it for the brows. So um, it hasn't changed all that much and I kind of just go with whatever my brows are feeling for the day. They never really look exactly the same. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. And I thought because this is only a 10 minute video, I might as well just chit chat with you guys while I do the rest of my makeup. So that's what we're gonna do. But this is it. this is the brows. So that's what you came here for, brows are done. You can leave, you're free to go. Just make sure you set them at the end of your makeup. Brush all the powder out your brows and you're done. But for those who wanna see the rest of the makeup that I'm gonna do today, continue watching. I don't know if you guys can see, here and here are different sizes. I dropped my light on my cheekbone right here and now this cheekbone is so swollen. It's so painful, I can't lie. Like there's a whole lump right here on my face. I feel like you can see it there. It's not, it's kind of on this side, but it's less prominent. You see this bit right here? could have sent me i was honestly i think i got concussed because i had a headache for two days after doing that right anyways primer i'm using the iconic underglow blurring primer i don't know if this primes and actually holds your makeup on but i really like the way it makes my skin look and yeah so i've just been using it really right what's next i might actually go in with this morphe skin tint in hint of toast it might be too dark though. Undertone might be a little off too. I love this Morphe skin tint. Sophie introduced me to this. Blendy blend. I've been doing the same makeup look for honestly over a week. When did I upload my last video? Probably nearly two weeks. And for me to be doing the same routine for nearly two weeks, I have to be obsessed. Yes, the products change, but the whole look itself is still the same. And I love that. Now I'm gonna go in, I'm actually just gonna use the concealer that I've got left that I've put down, just to extra slightly conceal my under eyes and slightly conceal my lids. Right, and then I'm gonna go in with the Uoma contour stick because I haven't used this in a while. I'm gonna take that with the Sigma Multitask and I've just popped it on the back of my hand to warm the product through. And I'm just gonna start almost bronzing slash contouring with it because it's slightly warmer than an average contour. Run that over my nose, over my eyes, under my lip. Perfect. Now I'm all bronzed up. Take the Makeup Revolution contour, which I actually stuck my finger in. And I'm gonna start just popping this underneath my cheekbones because this is slightly cooler than the Uoma um <laughs> oh Uoma one so it's gonna contour well we need it to contour and I'm gonna take my brush and just blend 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 like so i look very dark on camera and i don't know if it's the camera or what because in real life i'm not looking as dark as i'm looking on camera um next i'm gonna go in and set my face and i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury setting powder to start with i do go in and set with a proper powder um just to keep my makeup on more but i love the finish that this particular one from Charlotte Tilbury gives me and I always use it and I'll just further set anywhere else extra that I need to set okay I'm actually gonna take a bit of a fluffier brush and just set all over my face as well because I don't normally do that but today it's looking extra shiny so I'm just gonna make sure that's all set in I'm gonna go in with Scott on I'm just gonna use the bronzing tools to bronze up my face right now down my neck i recently got sent this palette by urban decay so it feels like a birthday present because my birthday is this week and look how beautiful it is so we're going to use this 
but I'm very excited. I might just go in with this shade Buck Off. Do you know how much of a big moment it was to be sent this by Urban Decay when I would literally die as a young teen looking at people with their three Urban Decay palettes. I just remember so vividly this memory of Zoella before, you know when all the British YouTubers went to Dubai just before Christmas and Zoe was on her way to the airport and she opened a package from Urban Decay and it had all three naked palettes and the basic palettes in. I was so gassed, I was like, I need that. And my mum obviously didn't buy it for me for Christmas because the price is awfully extortionate and as a, a human now, because I don't believe I was human as a kid because clearly money didn't exist. Um, now I see why she didn't buy it for me, but at the time I was fuming. But anyways, I'm gonna just make sure that that brown is all over my lids. And do I wanna do a brown eyeliner or a black eyeliner? Brown. I think I'm just gonna stamp it on. And yeah, I just hope this works out. Pop that in my inner corner. I'm gonna go do the same on the other eye. It's really hard to make eyeliner so even. The ends of the wing is really blended, but you can see on my lid that there's a wing. Cute. Next is lashes. And for lashes, I'm gonna be using the Sigma Sinuity Lash and the Uoma Salute to the Sun. I use these and have been using these to do my lashes for a minute and they're my favorite mascara duo you'll see why just one layer of this one from Yoma is so good at like just giving me lashes in full stop because some mascaras really do nothing for lashes and I didn't really notice it because I've always been like a a full-on fake lash wearer where I didn't really care if my eyelashes looked long but now I do because I like to do like just a few individuals on the outside I'm really aware of if a mascara actually works once I've done a layer of the Yoma I'm just gonna go and do a layer of the Sigma and you'll see the difference that this lash combo does it's crazy do you see the difference like that's insane just two layers of mascara and that's yeah, you get why these two are. So that's what the lashes look like. Normally I would use like individuals from Kiss. I might actually use these individuals. These are the individuals from Kiss. They're not the ones I usually use because the ones I usually use. I like this sort of style, but these, you can see the difference. Um, these are the ones I actually picked up the other week when they'd run out of those ones. Cause I thought, oh, they'll be the same. They're not the same. They're not the same at all. Put a bit of duo glue, you can't see that, a bit of duo glue on the corner and start applying them to my outer corners. So I'll start with a long one. I feel like it elongates my eye. And then I take a medium and pop that probably just to the right of my pupil. And that's what two individuals does to my eye. So can you see the difference just by putting two of these? Crazy. I'm gonna have to pop this other one back on because it's not gonna stay. Anyways, while those are drying, I might as well finish off my face. I'm going to go in with Fenty Skin Private Island Bronzer. Start just bronzing up my cheeks in particular and my nose, not so much my forehead just so that when I put my blush on it, it blends really cute. I feel like I can't take anything else, Scott Barnes blush palette, and I kind of just, you know. It's really, I'm not really too bothered, I love all the shades, so whatever shade comes out in particular is whatever one's going on my face. What's next? Cream highlight. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my classic Refi. I need to get a new one of these because I accidentally squirted out all of the, I was about to say the juice. I don't know if it's juice, but speaking of juice, what's an orange juice? Are you an orange juice bits or um, not bits gal? Eyes, <laughs> this is my favorite parts. 
because I use this shade right here, which is almost black, and I just run this absolutely go crazy under my under eyes and I can't get enough. Take like any small-ish brush, tap it in. This is the collection thing I used for my brows. I just drag it under my eyes. This is my favorite thing in the world. I don't think I'll ever stop doing this. Like ever since I... What do I do? I'm then going to take the tattoo liner just to redraw on my inner corners. Perfect. And I'm going to take this Urban Decay 24 hour 7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Whiskey. This routine is so quick, but it looks like I put way more effort in than I actually have. Curl the lashes. That for me just changes everything. And I can now go straight onto the lips. I'm going to use this Borderline Lip Liner. Make sure this is all over my lips. Using the Juvia's Place powder to extra set under my eyes. And I'm also gonna make sure I'm setting underneath my contour too. This has got a slight coverage to it, so it's really good at cleaning up your makeup. I'm just gonna take this brow pen from, um, what's it called? Colourpop and it's in medium and I'm just gonna go over and draw in extra hairs. I'm going to add some brown mascara to my bottom lashes because I love that look. And then I'm gonna do freckles. I just take like a self tan like this. But you can kind of see if you just, I don't know if you're gonna be able to, on that, you can kind of see when it's ready to freckle. And then I just, Freckle the fuck out of my face. Blend, blend, blend. And that is like the finished brow slash mini get ready with me tutorial for this week. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me actually show you the makeup and brows in full, full force. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys next week for... Doses.